Happy New Year. This month's screencast brought to you by your diagnostic team is focused on mental health red flags to continue our charge in, of building awareness of mental health and the warning signs exhibited in the school setting. There is a great need for mental health intervention in our country today, and Grand Blank schools are no exception. According to the National Alliance of Mental Illness, 13% of eight to 15 year old and 21% of 13 to 18 year old students are diagnosed with a mental illness. Looking out for signs and symptoms is key to helping our kids. However, signs and symptoms can differ between grade levels. Let's have a look. Anxiety and depression often present differently depending on the student's age. Some of the symptoms of anxiety often seen in elementary school students, such as crying, may not manifest in the same way at the high school level. Students who have experienced significant trauma also present with many of the signs listed here. Please take a moment to review the elementary signs. This list includes many of the common signs that we see with teens struggling with anxiety and depression. Keep in mind, that signs of possible mental illness present differently in each individual. Therefore, this list is not exhaustive. So who can help when you observe warning signs at the elementary and secondary levels? Classroom teachers are many times the first adult in an adolescent's life to notice a significant change in a student's behavior. Sharing your observations with the student's parent or guardian is always encouraged and recommended. Also utilizing your building resources such as a homeschool liaison or consider presenting the student to the student assistance team if the student is a general education student. For students eligible to receive special education services, collaborating with the student's case manager and service providers is considered best practice. In addition to reporting signs of anxiety and depression in students, you may also be witness to signs of abuse and neglect. These signs include visible bruises or marks, sudden change in behavior, injury, or a dangerous home. In addition to observing signs of anxiety and depression in students, you may also be witness to signs of abuse and neglect. Signs of abuse may include visible bruises or marks, sudden change in behavior, injury, or a dangerous home. Signs of neglect may include dirty or improper clothing, hunger or thirst, chronic sleepiness in an unsafe living environment. Remember, you are a mandated reporter. If you suspect any abuse or neglect, it is your legal responsibility to report your suspicion. There are criminal and civil penalties for not reporting. Your social worker, counselor, or liaison can support you in your reporting. However, it is your responsibility to report your suspicions. Here is the link to the PS3200 form. First, print and complete the form, and then call Protective Services. The number to CPS is listed on the 3200 form. CPS will give you a log number and then you will fax the form to the number listed on the 3200. After the form is faxed, give a copy of the form to appropriate administrators and counselors. Additionally, here is a link to a mandated reporter video. Your diagnostic staff challenges you to take the first step and recognize warning signs within your class. You are the, are the first line of defense in recognizing a need and making sure the appropriate interventions and services are sought. Most importantly, please know that you are not alone and we are here to support you. Thank you.